Communities across the country are on alert, bracing for border patrol agents to come knocking at their front door. It's after the Trump administration warned that there will be a big crackdown in so-called sanctuary cities. Out, are you worried that we're going to have some sort of uh, fear market where we're selling off? I mean, we're seeing gold jumping higher, but the sure. truth is that we came up off the lows. Nobody's running for the hills. Sure. Um, do you expect some volatility? Do you expect a higher year in 2020 overall? In five years. You hear me correctly? There's a surplus of grapes in California to thank for that. The downside is, of course, a lot of those grapes will go to waste, but they can go to other, you know, spirit products. They're used for that. But it's because millennials are drinking more of these type of products than wine. So I'm going to tell you right now, this millennial... Tobacco application. And really long story short, that is uh, demanding that anyone in that e-liquid space in particular... Pixis, which is the first one, if that's okay. Um, Again, there are... This would be an example of a company that does participate in the non-THC but the cannabis space. The Border Patrol agents are flooding those jurisdictions to help immigration and customs enforcement track down and detain any illegal immigrants, you know, like the raids that happened a few months back. Acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf says so that the CBD port- oil, and they also are about a 145-year-old tobacco company. And these are so popular. I mean, you know, I don't see right. that this group is becoming less popular in the right. next decade, right? People aren't, people aren't gonna stop. Um, and my friend, I'm so glad you're here tonight. So what uh, what do you think about the last week in terms of um, high costs so that these companies can meet the new regulation Um, and and these smaller type companies, where do they fit in? So I don't I think if you're in the small in terms of Bill Barr and his standing as our attorney general, given what eleven hundred you know, career prosecutors. And I haven't checked them lately or today, but I know throughout last year, no. they were getting, they were darlings. They were up yep. 60, 70, 80 yep. percent. And then next thing you knew, they were down 70 percent. And I haven't checked them lately or today, but I know throughout last year, no. they were getting, they were darlings. They were up yep. 60, 70, 80 percent. Yep. And then next thing you knew, they were down 70 percent.